Let's learn about My Network. This feature is over here with the person outline with the plus. If you hover over here, you'll see all the different items under My Network. We have My Contacts, Add a New Lead, My Lists, and My Prospects. You can also get here by selecting Find a Contact or Add a New Lead in those sections on your homepage. Let's go over and explore My Contacts. As you can see, I don't have any contacts uploaded into the system yet. Over here we have our filter. Once we have contacts loaded, we'll be able to filter by our date, what list, and search within our contacts. And over here on the top right hand corner, you'll see this section that says add contacts. This button has a drop down with a little caret arrow. And you want to select this so you can see the additional options. Here you have add a new lead. We have add contact, import contacts, or export your contacts. I want to show you one of my favorite features, which is add a new lead. Here you can add a lead just from a screenshot of a social media profile. Let's test one. Here I'm going to select browse files so I can upload my image. I'm going to select the screenshot of the profile and then all I need to do is hit get started. You also could have hit search for contacts or add manually, but this is the really cool feature. And you'll see AI is analyzing the image, the screenshot that we uploaded. And it's searching for what information exists about this person based on the screenshot and even developing a personality profile based on that person. And automatically it's gone and searched the internet for all this information about this contact. Now you can see it's already enhanced the contact and this is grayed out because it's already done. It's already gone ahead and given us a personality profile. Now, how this section works is this will be for any contact you upload once you enhance the contact. Over here, you have the edit feature where you can go and edit the information. You have the message feature, which will bring us to write a message, but it's already actually attached that specific contact as the person we want to reach out to. Let's go back. How to get back there. You can always go to My Contacts, and you'll see that it's been added here. If you want to select this person, you can just click on it, and it will bring up this profile again. Here we have Rotations, which allows us to set an ongoing reminder of how many times we want to touch base with this person. And this will actually populate in My Momentum. We also have this follow-up section where we can add additional information and notes about the last time we reached out to this person. We can also set a follow-up reminder that will populate on My Momentum on our homepage right here. Back to our profile. So here you see it's actually found social media profiles all from that screenshot. It's also gone ahead and found the email address and the phone number for this person. So this is what it looks like once we've uploaded a screenshot. And you can see there's a lot of different information here available on this page. Now you'll see that this is grayed out because we've already enhanced this profile, enhanced contact. You can also select it again if it's purple. And you also see here it even has this analyzed personality. Now here's where things get super interesting. It's gone ahead and it's developed a personality profile based on this person, what it's been able to search on them on the internet. And it's pretty cool knowing this person and seeing what information has been provided here. It's quite telling. It's pretty accurate. This person is very goal oriented and they really want to get right into the conversation. This is about their meeting style, their stressors, what energizes them, how they speak. It's really cool, all the things that it's been able to pull up. Now here you have this section on booking a meeting, how to get Blake to book a meeting. It even gives you tips on exactly how to go about booking a meeting. We have pain points, the pitch, how to pitch to this person, how to provide good presentation skills, and what they're going to be looking to. You can see all of this. You can dig into this person. It's truly incredible even discussing money, how to go about it. 
there's so much detail in here. So whenever you're thinking, I'm not sure how to approach this person, you can dig in here and also know that whenever you're working within your Lab AI platform to write a message, you can hit here, you can click, you can start an email campaign. It's going to take all of this information that it's developed and take that into consideration when reaching out to that person, when you create a personalized message. Now over here we have notes, so we can write notes on how we know this person, any important details that we want to add, and we just hit add notes. So we have history, we can see when we added the contact, and as we go through and we've updated my momentum as we get those alerts, once we set a rotation or a follow-up, it will populate here. Over here we can add it to our list, and then here we have even their enhanced info. So let's go ahead and let's set up a rotation. So what we're gonna do here is this is how often we wanna stay in touch with this person. So we're gonna select the date, and then we're gonna say we wanna repeat this every two weeks. And so we hit save, and now automatically it's been added here. Another way you could do this is set a specific follow-up, and you can add a note to that follow-up. And then all of these, let's say we want this to be in one, we have days, weeks, months, or years. So we can do one week, we want to build rapport, we can select follow up or book a meeting, and this is gonna be a, a notification that we get on our homepage on My Momentum. We can add our notes about our last contact with this person and hit save. Now, when we come back in a week, we'll be able to see that My Momentum will be populated with that reminder. Let's go back into my contacts. So now that we've added a contact, it will show up here. We can always delete this contact, select it on the left-hand side with the little checkbox, and then hit delete. And that contact has been deleted. I wanna show you how to add a contact manually. So if you hit add a contact, you can do that again from my contacts, you use this little carrot down, and then you hit add contacts. You can type in, upload images, and add all the details that you would like on a specific person manually. You can add their phone number, email address, their website, their address, their current company, their social media profiles, and then you can add them to specific lists. Once you fill this out, you still have the option to enhance that contact using the Lev AI features to create the personality profile. But let's say I wanna upload a lot of contacts at one time. This is where we wanna to go to import contacts. So we're gonna take this little arrow down, the carrot up at the top and the button that says add contacts. We're gonna hit import contacts. So here you'll see two options. You have email or CSV. CSV is a file type that I'm gonna show you a little bit about, but let's say you wanna select email. If you select email and you haven't yet connected any of your email accounts, you can connect your email account by typing it here and hitting connect. Now you have two options. You can do email and contacts, and since we're in the contact section, that's likely what we wanna do, but you also can do email only. So here we would type in our email, and then hit connect and follow the prompts to connect my email. But what about if we wanna upload a CSV, a file that we have from either Excel or Google Sheets of all of our contact list, or maybe we've exported our contact list from another platform, we wanna add a CSV. So all you need to do is select CSV, and then here we're gonna drop our CSV file or select it. So here you can see I'm selecting my contact list and this CSV file has first name, last name, and email. That's what I need to match up in the system. So I'm gonna hit open. So my file just had first name, last name, and email. As you can see, 
we want as much as possible this to match up exactly with what the options are here. So here we have first name, last name, and email. So if you're ever running into trouble with your CSV file, try just working with these three fields. We also have other fields if you want to click the drop down and you can match them up that way. But this is a very simple way and clean way to get those first names, last names, and emails in there. You're going to hit next. And then it should grab all of the emails and the names that matched up from your file. And then you can hit import. Now it's going to ask you, do you want to name your contact list? And so here you can put a name for your contact list and hit save. Now that you've uploaded your contacts, we can go back to my network. We can go to my contacts and we'll see all of those emails have been added to our contact list. If we want to select one, we can go over here and we can hit Enhance Contact. Now let's go back over to My Network and we're going to go into My List. As you can see, I have a few different lists that I've already created. And as we just imported our contacts, we have that new contact list already here. And you can see it already says that it has 10 contacts. So here we have three options. We can do Create New List. Again, we can import contacts or we can export all of our contacts. We wanna create a new list. We're gonna name our list, and then here, it will show us that no one's added to this list yet. So instead, we could do the import contacts as we just showed the other way to get there and create a new list. So let's go back to our contacts, and let's say that we wanna add Nina to our new list. So we can select on the contact, and then over here on list, we can actually select all of the lists that we want them to receive. This is going to become very important when you go to build email flows and multiple email campaign series within the My Email section. To finish out My Network's full review, we need to go into My Prospects. This is where you're going to be able to find leads. Now, the way that this works is you get to select the city, the state, the country, and then the interest. And you also have the option to search for gender. So let's do a test here. Our city is going to be Miami. Our state is going to be Florida. And our country is going to be United States. Now, we're going to look up people who are interested in real estate. And as we start to type, you can see there's already some populated options. So we're going to select real estate and we're going to go with both. Now you can see there is this advanced targeting section where you can try to find people who come from a specific company or job title, industry, education level, or age range. You can even have this drop down for the selected preferred contact method. But caution, because when you start to get very specific, you may not get as many results if you get too specific. So let's go ahead and we're going to collapse the advanced targeting and we're just going to go with this. Now, the other thing we can do is we can save this search, but let's see if we can go and get a prospect. It's going to automatically save that search. And here you have, we have a new prospect. It's found a person who's in this age range, and it's given me all this information about someone who's interested in real estate. If I like this lead, I can go ahead, I can hit view contact, or I can X out and I can search for another new lead. Now here we're going to hit view contact. And look, and it's already gone ahead and it's enhanced its contact and its personality. So you can see here's all this great detail on how we can go and approach this person. We also have their LinkedIn and their email address. And over here, we can set up my momentum reminders. Let's go back to my prospects. And I want to show you a few other features. Over here, you can see search history. So here, we didn't have a search name. It just automatically saved the search. And this was the last time that I used it. Let's say that we want to get some specific more information. We can go over here and hit this icon to get more information. Or we can hit edit and we can actually rename this search to Real Estate Miami. Now, we may want this because let's say we want to actually run this again. 
This says use this search, activate and use the search. Yes, because we want to get another lead. So it's gone ahead and it's populated all the things that I've inputted. And now I can hit get prospect again and it should find me a new lead. And here we have a new lead that meets the criteria that's interested in, in the real estate industry. And again, we can view the contact and now it's been added to our contact list. You can see our two new contacts have been added here. Now, if we go back to our home page, we can see we actually got a My Momentum update. And it shows me that there's been new prospects added. So if we want to go ahead and look at these, we could actually go over into My Contacts and see them there. But here, all we have to do is hit Done. And then we're all set. That completes the full My Network tutorial, including contacts, leads, list, and prospects.